Alrighty Lumberjacks, welcome back. Um, I decided to do a quick video to uh, explain the new update because it's kind of a big update with a whole bunch of changes and I really wanted to uh, make it clear. So I'm going to go over all the patch notes in this uh, video right here. By the time this video comes out, um, all these mods are available to download right now with the new updates. I'm also going to put a link in the video description to the new install mod install video and to the new... Uh, control setup guide because there's a new control setup guide for the awesome new controls that I'm very excited about So um, yes, that's the first thing I want to talk about in the patch notes uh, So in this update the controls have changed so unfortunately you're all gonna have to suffer through setting your controls again, but Hold on. It's for a good cause. It's for good times. So um, What I've done is I've actually created a mod that you install which installs input bindings for all the machines so instead of uh, before we used to have all the struggles of going through and finding you know you had to have that control reference guide where you're like tool axis one equals this on this machine and then the cutter reel is this and it was really confusing and hard to follow so I've been fed up with that and I finally got uh, annoyed enough that I created my own controls. so now all of the FDR machines that you have have their own controls. So if I hit escape, I'm just going to go in here and show you real quick. Um, if you scroll all the way down to the bottom after you have that uh, input mod installed, all the FDR machine mods now have their own category to set, and they're all very clearly labeled on what they do. You know, they swing the cab, the booms, the stick, the yada, yada, yada. Um, this is all moved into the new control setup guide video, which is linked in the description below. So if you guys want to see how it how to set things up from start to finish, go click on that video. It's up, it's live and working right now. Um, this is a huge update uh, and changes a lot of things. Now, granted, it is a change. You do have to set your controls one time through, but you'll only ever have to do it one time and it saves it for like all eternity, which is super nice. Um, after you do save all those controls, it'll apply to every single FDR logging machine, and it's good to go. But, uh, granted, with this new update, you cannot use the old mods. You have to delete all your old stuff and put in the new stuff. All these machines have been changed so that the controls are specific to that input file. So if you don't have that input file downloaded, you will not be able to use the machines. You will not be able to set up the controls. It's all kind of working together to keep it all universal. But it's very simple to install and watch that video. It makes life a lot better. Uh, okay, anyway, so that's the biggest update is the controls making life easier for everybody. Uh, next on the patch notes, I have uh, fixed various log errors. So when we loaded into the game, we used to have a whole bunch of log errors that said uh, duplicate specializations and a whole bunch of weird stuff. I finally figured out what all that is. So I cleared up a lot of errors in the log. I don't think there's anything left in there now. It's a very clean slate, especially for people who are uh, complaining about multiplayer, seeing the errors. That should be solved now. Uh, on track machines, so on anything with tracks, I have changed the, uh, the wheel alignment. So now when you go to track left and right, um, as I'm going to switch to physics view, it switches a lot faster. It recorrects a lot faster. So, like, as you can see, the tires turn back a lot faster. Before, what would happen is somebody would be trying to turn to the left, but it would... They'd switch to go straight and it would keep going left a little bit. It was kind of like a lag delay thing. So anyway, that's that's one of the issues that was fixed. Uh, next on the list, we have removed attacher joints from the bottom of the chassis. So if you guys remember, we had those long arms that came off of the bottom uh, for hooking up attachments and stuff like that. Uh, most people were not using them, and a lot of people... I had a lot of hate mail about the ugly bunny arms, as they called them, sticking off the front of the machines. So those have been removed, so everybody can be happy that they have a nice, clean bottom of their machine now. You can no longer attach attachments to the bottom of the machines, but it doesn't matter because a lot of people didn't use them, apparently, and we have other machines to make up for that. Uh, next, we did a little bit of control changes on the actual swing. So now the uh, the swing of the boom and the uh, movement of the arms is a little more responsive. Uh, I had a lot of complaints about the swing brake being too, too swingy, so when you stopped, it kept moving, like, a lot. So now, as you can see, when I swing and I let go, it kind of slows down a little, a little faster, or, or it stops a little faster. So everything's just a little tighter on the controls, which makes your controlling a lot nicer, especially for multiplayer, where there was already a bunch of delay. So um, you'll find everything's a little more responsive. There's a little less uh, kind of extra swing uh, when you're swinging things around. 
Uh, all skitters and dozer blades. So I'm actually going to buy the dozer here. So all skitters and the dozer now have the blades permanently fixed to the fronts of the machines. You no longer have to attach these onto the machines anymore. They're built onto the fronts. Now, granted, with this update, you cannot use these for plowing. There's a whole bunch of issues with plowing, but I cannot make it so that they plow properly. And it also fixed a bunch of log errors by getting rid of the plowing. So now, um, on these ones, like I said, the, uh, the blades are permanently fixed, so they're just on the machines now, and you can use them to push stuff around. You know, push logs, run into machines, whatever you need to do. But now you don't have to buy this separate attachment, which a whole bunch of people were really will be happy about because I had a lot of complaints about having to attach them. Again, on some of the machines like the Volvo and the smaller Volvo, they now have the blade on the front. So while you're walking around, you can you know lower that blade if you want to butt up logs or push machines or whatever you guys do with those blades. Have fun. Same with all the skidders now have the blades permanently fixed to the fronts. Uh, so you can raise and lower and do whatever you want with that. Uh, another big change is the forestry grinder. So with this change of having a permanently fixed uh, blade on the front, um, we now have the forestry grinder that connects to the blade. Now, this forestry grinder will only connect to the skitters that have the smaller blades. So if you have the uh, tiger cats with the longer blades, it doesn't fit. Uh, so they don't actually attach to that. They only attach to the skitters with the smaller blades. So this one and the caterpillar, both variants, uh, work. Just drive up, hit Q. As you can see, it kind of sits on the front, and if you hit G, it'll switch between the blade and your head. So then you can raise and lower and still use your grinder on the front to go chop up logs and trees and such. Um, this way, at least it still doesn't look too, too horrible, um, because it, there's a couple versions of it that didn't look super, super fantastic. So that's uh, just an easy way to keep that attachment. And then when you do drop the uh, grinder, you still have access to your blade, which a lot of people I know really, really wanted. Uh, what else we got in the patch notes? Color corrections. There was a couple color corrections on machines. That's just a minor thing. So there is no longer uh, the easy heads for logging anymore. Uh, so remember how I used to have the advanced heads and the regular ones? So now we just have the C350, which is the Caterpillar version, the John Deere version, and the Tire Cat version. All those are our colors for the machines. Um, as well as the processors, we have the... Uh, Dangle South Star, Dangle Warta, and Fixed Warta. But there is no more regular version versus advanced versions. Uh, the C100, which was that brown one, is now gone that had a single claw on it. So the reason I did this is with these new control setups, you guys can set the controls to whatever you want. So if you're a new person and you don't have enough buttons to control uh, this machine, you don't actually have to use those secondary arms. So you have these secondary arms which open and close, but you don't actually have to use those. So if you wanted to process and you only wanted to use your main claw because you don't have enough controls on your controller, you can still grab a tree, cut it, process it, and just drop the ends or do whatever you want with it. You don't have to use those secondary controls. Um, the same difference on the buncher head. Um, it has those secondary arms, which are these guys down here. Um, you don't have to use those to, to actually operate the machine. So if I uh, go over here, if I don't want to use those arms, I can still cut, grab, you know, go grab another one if I want, and cut and grab. I don't know if I can do three, but let's try it just for jokes. There you go, for three. So I just cut three trees very efficiently, no problem, without having to use those secondary arms whatsoever. So we don't need the C100 anymore. We don't need the easy version of the processor anymore because this version works just fine. Just you don't have to assign those secondary commands unless you uh, unless you really want to. I just messed up that tree. <laughs> um, so let's leave this right here. But I just wanted to make that point because there's going to be a whole bunch of people going, where did all the regular ARM machines go or the easy versions? We don't need them anymore because you can still use this with or without the using these secondary claws. So anybody who wants to use easy controls, just don't worry about using these. Um, when these heads spawn now, they spawn in the game, or like when you buy them, they, they load in with these secondary arms open. The previous versions of my advanced heads, the arms were closed. So anybody who didn't set those controls could never use them because those controls were always closed. So now when you buy this head, these are always open, so it's really easy to actually use them. Um, the dangle felling head has the new squeezing effect. Oh, yes. So on all of 
the dangle heads, they now have a easy, uh, well, here, what's an easy way to do this? Uh, I'm going to grab this and just go for a walk here. But they now have uh, similar physics to what Giants has in-game. Uh, and in terms of that, I mean they have similar closing, so you can't really crush the logs. Well, you still can, but not quite like we used to be able to. So let's bring this over here. And I'm just going to lay this next to here so we can show off. So basically, every single dangle head now has uh, claws that you can squeeze quite uh, tightly onto logs without them freaking out, which is really nice for forwarding. So, for instance, we're going to use this guy here. I'm just going to lower the stabilizers. Oh, can we reach that? I hope we can reach that. I'm sure we can. Um, so now, like I said previously, you used to be able to squeeze the logs to the point where they would completely crush and the, the claws would grapple, break through the grapple and it would get all jittery. Now you can actually um, control the claws by just grabbing the log as tightly as you want to a degree and it stays, you know, tight on the log without it jittering through and being all glitchy. It's a lot nicer when you're, especially if you're handling, handling uh, shorts and moving them around. So that's one thing that's changed on all of the dangle heads. Now you guys will see, especially when you're forwarding, it's a lot easier to pick up grapples. Um, also by doing this, it fixed that issue where, you know, sometimes where you'd grip really hard on the logs and the head would kind of like start going back and forth on its own and freaking out. Um, it doesn't really do that anymore. So when you squeeze on the logs and get them nice and tight in there, it still sits like relatively nice and swings really nice. So you guys can play with that on all the dangle heads that come out. You'll find it's uh, it's a lot nicer and a lot cleaner and should be good to go. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Um, you'll notice there's a few mods that are missing. Some of them are just being removed for the time being because I'm repairing them or doing some stuff on them. So anything that's missing, don't expect it gone forever. There's some things that are just getting changed and uh, improved. So um, with this update, there's a whole bunch of changes and controls and good things. But it should be a lot smoother and a lot more stable. But yeah, uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments below. Again, if you guys are lost, click on the link below because there's uh, a pinned comment I'm going to put on these videos that have links to the new setup video for uh, installing mods and for setting up your controls. Watch them, learn them, love them. You guys are going to have a good time with it. Anyway, thanks you guys for watching, and we will catch you on the next one. See ya.